Have you ever wondered where the tradition of birthday feasts originated? Let's take a journey back in time to the cradle of civilization, ancient Egypt. Here, the coronation of pharaohs was not just a political event, but a divine transformation. This was seen as the pharaoh's birth into godhood, and it was celebrated with a grand feast. Now, let's hop over to ancient Greece, where birthday feasts took on a different form. The Greeks revered Artemis, the goddess of the moon and hunting. To honor her, they baked moon-shaped cakes, lighting them up with candles to recreate the glowing radiance of the moon. This was their version of a birthday feast, a tribute to the goddess on her birthday. These ancient practices are the roots from which our modern birthday celebrations have grown. As we can see, the concept of birthday feasts has deep roots in ancient civilizations, serving both religious and celebratory purposes. As time progressed, so did the birthday feast tradition, finding its place in the Middle Ages. During this period, birthday celebrations became more prevalent, especially among the royalty and nobility. These feasts were grand affairs, filled with rich foods, music, and merriment. But what's a birthday without cake? The Middle Ages saw the introduction of sweet cakes into the birthday tradition. These weren't just any cakes, mind you, but ones adorned with lit candles. This wasn't just for show, though. It was believed that the smoke from the candles carried one's prayers up to God, a sweet sentiment for sure. From the grandeur of the feasts to the introduction of birthday cakes and candle blowing, the Middle Ages played a pivotal role in shaping the birthday traditions we know and love today. The Middle Ages brought sweetness to birthday feasts, literally and figuratively, adding elements that are still common in today's celebrations. Fast forward to modern times, birthday feasts have become a universal tradition, celebrated in various ways across different cultures. Let's begin our journey in the Western world, where birthday feasts are often marked by jubilant parties. Imagine a room filled with laughter, bright balloons, and streamers. At the center of the celebration, a cake aglow with flickering candles awaits the birthday person. This cake, often lavishly decorated and laden with sweet icing, serves not just as a treat, but a centerpiece for the time-honored tradition of making a wish. It's believed that blowing out all the candles in one breath brings good luck and that the wish will come true in the year to follow. Gifts, too, are an integral part of these celebrations, carefully chosen to bring joy and express affection. Now let's fly over to the Eastern Hemisphere. In South Korea, the birthday person is often greeted with a bowl of seaweed soup, known as miyokguk. This soup is a symbol of good health and is believed to bring prosperity for the coming year. It's a quiet yet heartwarming tradition, often shared amongst family members in the comfort of home. Meanwhile, in Japan, longevity noodles or toshikoshi soba are a birthday staple. These long, thin noodles are not cut or broken during cooking, symbolizing a wish for a long and healthy life. It's a simple dish, yet deeply imbued with meaning and tradition. Across these cultures, despite the diversity in dishes and practices, there's a shared theme. Birthday feasts are about more than just food. They're a time of celebration, of coming together. They're a moment to pause, to reflect on the past year, and to look forward to the future with hope and joy. It's a beautiful testament to our shared humanity, how we all find reasons and ways to celebrate life and its milestones, no matter where we come from. From the West to the East, birthday feasts continue to serve as a universal symbol of celebration and good fortune. From ancient times to the present, birthday feasts have indeed come a long way. In the beginning, these feasts were steeped in religious and royal practices. The ancient Greeks would offer moon-shaped cakes to Artemis, the goddess of the moon, to bring her favor. In the Middle Ages, royalty would host extravagant feasts to celebrate another year of their reign. As time moved on, the tradition of birthday feasts started to spread among the masses, with each culture adding a unique flavor to the celebrations. Today, birthday feasts have become a melting pot of traditions, with diverse and delicious foods from all corners of the globe. From the barbecue parties of the United States, to the seaweed soup in South Korea, to the longevity noodles in Japan, birthday feasts have truly become a global tradition. Despite these changes, the enduring significance of birthday feasts remains. They mark personal milestones and promote good fortune. And so, regardless of how or where we celebrate, the essence of birthday feasts remains the same, a celebration of life and good fortune, a tradition that has stood the test of time.